What's up guys, welcome to a stupid bright episode. Oh my God. It was like 29 degrees when I got here this morning and now it's probably 60. It's supposed to be like 75 today. I put this down on, that was a mistake. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> oh. Oh, intro's gonna have to, wait a minute. There's a yellow warbler right there. Wow, I didn't think I'd see him this, yeah, it, it's about time for migration. That's so cool. First bird right off the bat, yellow warbler. I'll take that as a good sign. Let's see if I got him. That's cool. I wasn't expecting warblers today. I came out here for the osprey. All my hooded mergansers are gone. All my nemesis birds, all the mergansers, the commons, the hooded, they're all gone. No buffle heads, all the winter stuff has moved on. That's kind of a bummer. I mean, I knew it would happen, but I did know the osprey were back and that's that's what I came here for. So let's go see if we can get a shot of an osprey and some more warblers. Now that I know the warblers are here, I think we can get some stuff. keeps getting in fights with some vultures. <laughs> he keeps chasing the vultures off. I don't know what kind of hawk it is. It's too far away. Kind of looks like probably Cooper's. There is not a whole lot going on this morning. This is an empty lake. <laughs> it's not empty. It's just got all the usual suspects here that stay here for summer. Pretty much ruddy ducks, pied-billed grebes, coots. I came up here for the osprey though, because the osprey are back. And there's a couple of them that stay over there. There's some vultures flying behind me. There's a really loud kingfisher and a stellar's jay. What there are though that I wasn't expecting just yet, well, maybe, there are some incoming yellow warblers, that was one. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think I'm gonna go over to the other side of the pond and look for some more shorebirds. I saw a Sora. I didn't get a shot yet. I probably will. And then uh, hopefully some more warblers and maybe some sparrows and stuff over there. So I'm out here today testing out. My God, it's bright. <laughs> the sun is like right there. It's so bright. Oh, so bright. Uh, I'm out here testing out my one to 500 and I specifically brought only the 1 to 500. I didn't bring my uh, 800, which I'm the photographer, the, the pure birding photographer in me is very sad about that because all of these ducks and all of the birds and everything, 
they're a little far away. 500 I think is a little far, but I want to push it and I want to see if that's the Osprey. Is that the Osprey? That might be him. I got it on silent shutter and uh, that might have been a mistake. See, the, the thing that I think most people forget about silent shutter is it's great for wildlife, right? Because you can get nice and close and they won't hear you spraying them with your shutter sound. But uh, on silent shutter on the R5, there is no way to, like it's so fast. The 20 frames per second is just, so fast and I have a feeling that I've really filling up my card. Oh, is that the Osprey again? There's a big raptor flying over the pond. That's a vulture. Still kind of cool though. Anyways, let's go over there and uh, see if I can get some more shorebirds and some more little flappy birds, little warblers and then wait for that Osprey. I, he's got to be ready for second breakfast. If I'm ready for second breakfast, he's ready for second breakfast. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. All right, let's go. He's out here, just got him flying around. He's looking, he's out for second breakfast. It's a good sign. So the cool thing about this spot and about the Osprey is that I don't need camo, I don't need to be subtle. I can do whatever I want, pull up my chair, my car, make some tea. It's a really good idea. That's much better. I made some tea. It's a nice Earl Grey for the morning. Yeah, so that's the great thing about the diving birds is, you know, they don't care what you're doing. They don't, I don't need to hide. I don't need to wait. Well, that's the only thing you do need to do is have patience, which uh, I was losing quickly this morning. So I got here at eight o'clock this morning about 7:45, 8 o'clock, and it was 29 degrees, and it's 9:20 now, and it's uh, 71 degrees. So, <laughs> nice little temperature change there. Classic New Mexico spring. Everything's starting to finally bloom a little bit, a little later than usual, I think. But we're pretty high elevation. What are you? What are you? Did you get clearance? Turkey vulture. A lot of vultures right now. They're back. Anyways, I'm gonna sit here and wait for some osprey. See if I can uh, get a get a few shots. I'm really hoping I get another diving shot, especially now with the one to 500. You know, the the lack of the 800 has been bumming me out this morning because everything's been so far away. But the one thing that is just this is. The best at there is nothing better for me than birds in flight with the one to 500. I loved my one to 400 for that same reason, and the one to 500 is just even better. It's sharper, it's longer, it's lighter. It's just ah, uh, it's better. So let's see if we can get some.
Wow, that was eventful. I barely, barely caught the Osprey. It's not as good as I wanted. Not the angle that I wanted, but I caught him being unprepared. And that just is a testament to how fast you can set up with this thing, you know? And if you have your settings right, so my settings for the Osprey were wide open, F7.1, 500 millimeters, uh, four thousandth of a second. And I think that was just fast enough to catch. I missed, I saw him diving and then I didn't start shooting until he hit the water. Uh, but then I got him coming out and he took off this way from me. So it wasn't that great of an angle and everything, but there were a couple of shots where, I mean, this tracked it with the way that I have my uh, focusing set up, my dual back button focusing. There's some swallows out here too, and I'm surprised that I caught one. So it, yeah, pretty eventful. I'm hoping the other Osprey now will come back because there's a pair of them usually. Um, there might even be three or four out here. There's, I've seen three. Today I've only seen two. The one just caught the fish. So now I'm keeping my eyes out for another one. Got a blue heron, not a great shot. I might have caught a little 4K clip of him. Uh, Canyon Tohi right here just came up to me. That was cool. Kill deer landed right in front of me, didn't get him. <laughs> like, like right in front of me, like pushing minimum focus distance on this, which is like a meter. <laughs> uh. Turning out to be very eventful, very happy that I stayed. The only downside is the wind. It's picking up if you can't tell. It's supposed to be 25 to 35 mile an hour winds today, which is pretty typical for average spring New Mexico winds. And that sucks. Wow, I'm stoked though. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I did get a little bit of footage of some birds. I think I even got a few clips of that yellow warbler, which you probably have already seen by now if I did because I would have edited them in earlier but uh, I'm gonna stick around for a few more minutes and see if I can't get a few of the shore birds over here and uh, maybe that's Sora so it still wasn't the most exciting wildlife experience I've ever had but anytime you get even like a three-star shot of an osprey diving for me that's like happy day like I, I can't get enough of it you know and that's, that made my morning. So that, I finished my tea. I probably need to make some more before I drive home. It's just good to be out. I've been kind of, not kind of, I've been really stressed out from work and some other stuff. And uh, I haven't made a video in like, come in on two weeks almost. And that's, that's not cool. But you know, like I said in the last video, I don't want to have that pressure on me all the time just to make something for something's just for consistency's sake. I think I'm a little past that. And it was just really good to get out here this morning, be around the birds, enjoy the New Mexico spring sunshine. Yeah, I'm in a much better state now. It's a, it's a good zen, good meditation out here. All right, that's enough rambling, it's tea time. Here's the rest of the stuff I got. I'm gonna be doing some more wildlife stuff with this lens. Um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be doing the review. All of this stuff is working towards the review. I like to have a good body of work uh, acquired before I do that kind of review, you know, those kind of reviews. So this is only like the third or fourth time and the only first time that I've been out with it for serious wildlife semi-serious wildlife thing <laughs> but once I get all of that stuff amassed here over the next uh, probably three or four weeks I'm gonna be doing the review on this and I'm gonna be comparing it to the 800 as well so stick around for that oh one last thing real quick shameless plug um, I changed my Olympic National Park that was one of the things that was stressing me out the workshop coming up in July is no longer at Olympic National Park due to some legal stuff that fell through with my ability to obtain my uh, commercial use permit there for the park. 
So we are switching it to the San Juan Islands and it's now going to be focused more on wildlife with the orcas and the bald, bald eagles and stuff like that and, and some landscape photography uh, out on the San Juan Islands which are uh, an island archipelago in uh, Puget Sound area, you know, uh, beautiful area. So I'm stoked about that. It's the same time, same price, same length as the Olympic Park. So if you're interested in that, um, send me an email or leave me a comment down below and uh, I've got a few spots left on that. So that's still happening in mid-July. I'm super stoked. Uh, I'm bummed out, of course, about the, the change, but the San Juan Islands and Olympic, I mean, but the San Juan Islands and uh, the wildlife there, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm stoked about that. Uh, and that's it. We're going to wrap it up. I got a long drive home. I'm ready for second breakfast for sure, sure now. I hope I still have some Pop-Tarts left in the car. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.